Well then. Wow. This tower was definitely something else. I thought this tower was super cool. I honestly, out of all the towers inside of Zone 2, I have never been exposed to this tower. Other than once, I came into it while I was trying to unlock Zone 3. And the beginning with the two one red platforms and the beginning of those like wraps, I was like, yeah, this tower's horrible. And I never looked at it since until today. And boy, this tower was so cool. This is my. So yeah, this is definitely my favorite tower in the zone. It is so cool. So unique. And uh, what I love about it is it isn't supposed to torture you. It's just there. Like there's safety nets below you on every floor. Like this tower is not to torture you. This tower is here for pure enjoyment. And that's what I love about this tower. So yeah, this tower is so cool. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. I would highly recommend it. So yeah, for all those wondering why I didn't have opinions on TOB all the way up to TOUD is because I'm not doing uh, opinions on towers that I say are required. So basically, the first few towers of every area I'm not going to really go in depth with. Like, I'm not going to share my opinion on tower or buttons because everyone has to play it if you're playing Zone 2, so it's just how it's going to work. So yeah, this was a really good tower. Highly recommend it. I will warn you, for newer players, it can suck because there are some tricky jumps with like the like on the end of, what was it? It was either 8 or 9, that tightrope. I think it was 9. No, sorry. I forget what floor it was. The tightrope. Yeah, that will really be very bad for new players. But I thought this tower was... Mm. Oh, I love this tower. It was so good. Highly recommend it. I don't know how it will be for newer players because, of, like I said, small studs and stuff can get really annoying. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, I'm Logan ISL. See you later.